Hi, it's Ellen again. I'm going to show you how to make my lattice bracelet. I guess, like I said, I call it the lattice because when you stretch it out, it looks like a lattice fence to me. Okay, so you need to take your loom, um, have this set up like this, and we're basically going to just make the honeycomb pattern to start with. The looping of the bracelets itself is not that complicated, it's just combining them while you're looming that is the harder part, I think. Um, so we're just going to start by adding our bracelet, or adding our rubber bands in the honeycomb pattern all the way along our loom. And um, you can make this on just one loom, it just makes a bracelet that is about half the size of bracelet that I showed you earlier. So you just continue all the way down doing the, this pattern. Now we're just going to turn our loom around, and I'm going to add my button end cap that I like. If you don't add a button, you just need to add the end cap to keep this end of the bracelet closed. And we're going to just loom this one like normal. So grab the top rubber band under your end cap. and pull that back towards itself. And I'm just going to grab the other side and do that as well. And then just go all the way up one side and all the way up the other side. And do this for the entire bracelet. All right, so we've loomed the entire honeycomb bracelet. Now we are actually going to take this off. Um, you're going to need something to put in here that you can keep in there. Um, I have extra hooks, so I guess I'm going to just use my hook. So we have the honeycomb bracelet. And just like that. I'm going to set this aside now, and we actually need to put another honeycomb bracelet on our loom. Okay, so the same thing with the bracelet, we need to put that the honeycomb bracelet, we need to put another one on. So there is the setup for the next part of the bracelet. Okay, now we're going to add um, the honeycomb bracelet that we made before. We're going to turn our loom around. And you take the bracelet. And we are actually going to turn it this way. going to, in the center of all the honeycombs, I guess, we are going to stretch it over these two pegs. And you want your end 
well, in my case with the button loop, down where you're going to start looming, because then when I put the button here, they'll be on the same side. And just stretch it over. And do the same thing. Try not to twist this, because otherwise you'll end up with a little bit of a kind of a bump in your bracelet when you're done. should look now. I'm going to put my button on real quick. Okay, so with the looping on this, um, it's kind of the, the trickier part, I guess. And it's done so that these aren't connected in any way. So they're independent of each other. So first, what we're gonna do is pop off this part of the bracelet. I'm going to loop these two bottom ones. You're going to reach in through the middle, grab this rubber band, and pull it up. Then slide off the bracelet on this end, put the rubber band back on. Then reach in here and loop it if I can find it. And then just loop the next one. And don't forget to come back and do this side. And then we go to the next one. Pop this off. Loop two bottom ones. in here, pull this one out, slide this off, put it back on, come back here, and loop this one, and pull this one. my rubber bands may look a little worse for wear, because I realized that I forgot how to do the bracelet as I was doing it earlier, so I've done it a few times to remind myself. Loop the other side. And the same thing on the next one. Pull this one off. Put this back on. Reach in. Pull this one out. And this is where you're basically connecting them. So they aren't connected to each other, but they're connected together. And come back to the other side. And the next one.
All right, so this is what it should look like. You can notice in each of these that you kind of, it's wrapped around this one, goes underneath your rubber bands, like so. Now what you're going to do is, since I use my hook, I'm just going to stick it back in here. Put it on here again. And then take it off. And that's how they're connected. And then if you want to do another one, like the ones that I did, where there, I have four of them. But then you would just do the same thing over again. Lay out your honeycomb pattern. Just add the rubber bands in the honeycomb pattern again. So I can show you how to attach it for a third time. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it around and add my button. Okay, and we grab the bracelet we made before. But then you just go back and you're going to grab the middle loop again. Put them all over. And it gets a little tighter, so just stretch a little more. I don't want to go where they will, they should. Okay, so that's how it'll look. And notice how this comes stretches way up. It'll even back out when you're Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with our looping. Slide this off, just hold it to the side, grab our top rubber band, pull it over, replace this. Reach in, pull it up, slide this off, put it back, and then loop it. And loop the next one. And do the same thing. Pull this off.
Okay, so now you're just going to take your hook again and stick it in here. And we're going to pull it off. See it again. Okay. And this is just where I'm gonna stop. So for me, I'm gonna take the middle of this bunch. Alright, so that is that bracelet, and this is how big it is on one loom. I can fit it around my fingers, it's pretty, and then this is two looms long. I hope this was this tutorial was clear enough for you and then you could see what I was doing with the rubber bands. Um, if you have any questions, again, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.